Am I the asshole? For blocking my door off to my room with my bed to prevent my cousins from using it as a guest room? Backstory I was born in Madrid, Spain to Spanish parents but we immigrated to the US when I was one and we've lived here since. We do go back to visit my grandparents and what not but this year, they came to us. I live in a small, two-bedroom house with my parents. I'm an only child so I get one room to myself and my parents get the other. This isn't enough space for my grandparents plus my uncle and his wife and kids. My grandparents booked a hotel near to our house but my uncle is too cheap for that. He wants me to give up my room for his kids while he and his wife sleep on an inflatable bed beside them in my room. I explained that I have sleeping issues and would appreciate keeping my room. He kept insisting and annoying my parents about it till they finally caved in and told me to sleep on the couch in the living room. I didn't want to give up my room, so when night time came last night I rolled my bed to the door and locked it for extra security so they couldn't get in. Of course, they were upset and tried to get more to open the door and let them in but I didn't budge. I kept my room for the entire night. Morning time, I wake up expecting a shit show. Basically, I got yelled at for having a tantrum and not making a small sacrifice. I understand what I did seems like a tantrum but I don't feel like they are entitled to my room. I pointed out that my grandparents got a hotel and that they could have done the same. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. If the living room is good enough for you, it is good enough for your uncle. Geez your parents are spineless. And to let's normalize kids not giving up their sleeping space for others I would never expect my kids to sleep on the couch so my brother and his family can have their room. Definitely not the asshole and it was in no way a tantrum. Your space is not accommodation for cheapskate who are leeching by using you home instead of paying for accommodation. Stick to your guns and protect what is yours. You owe nothing to these people. The whole family was going to sleep in the kid's room. We always shuffled around when grandparents came to stay. Not the asshole. Kids are people too and it's your space. It should not have been offered without your agreement. Your uncle is entitled he can sleep on the couch. Not the asshole I don't understand why people think it's okay to want someone to give up their private space to your room and your parents said no your uncle is the R for pushing it. Nata. You don't say ages or gender for your cousins but would you consider letting them sleep on the air mattress on tour floor? You keep your bed and your uncle aunt can do an air mattress in the living room. Fair solution is every family should have one room. Uncle and family is one bedroom you and your parents in the other. There are seven PP and two bedrooms anyone thinks they should have one BDRM alone is an R. Yeah you're the asshole, it's not your house, so it's not your rules. Ironic that you claim to be Spanish but then act like a spoiled American kid. Not everyone can afford a hotel and why should they when they have family who can host them for a couple days? Not the asshole I have never made my children sleep elsewhere so someone else could have their room bed. That is completely unacceptable. Nata your parents inability to set boundaries isn't your problem. Sorry dude but a small sacrifice while they're in town isn't asking much. You go to your grandparents and stay. Give it up. Not the asshole. Why couldn't your uncle and cousin sleep in the living room? I'm pretty sure the living room is usually the biggest room in the house. You're the asshole. Your family is hosting relatives from another country. Try to learn to be a gracious host. If the situation were reversed, would you rather sleep in a bed or a couch after you've traveled a far distance to visit relatives? Not the asshole. Not the asshole at all, you don't have to give up your room for anyone it's your room. It would be one thing if they asked nicely but they're just cheap and demanding. You're the asshole. Entitlement much? You seem like you're really a spoiled only child. Humble yourself once in a while and grow. This is not how you treat relatives who travel internationally. To quote Michael Che, you'll need Jesus. Not the asshole just because your family is cheap doesn't make you responsible for their comfort. 
Natar they had thr tantrum when you wouldn't let them in. You were just claiming what's yours. Not the asshole. The adults were already on an air mattress the kids can sleep on the couch or on another air mattress. It was wrong for your parents to expect you to give up your entire room, bed, privacy. Not the asshole. I believe your uncle and his family should have gotten a hotel instead of forcing you out of your room. Info where do you and your parents sleep when you've gone to visit? Are they inconvenienced when you stay? Natar. Honestly if you can afford plane tickets to fly across the world, you can afford a hotel room for a few nights. Not the asshole expect them to go into your room before bedtime tonight to keep you from blocking the door. Not the asshole. I would never insist my child give up their room without asking them nicely first if they wanted to. There is no shortage of beds in the world, they can stay in a hotel. And an air mattress goes just as well on the living room floor as on yours. Not the asshole what on earth is wrong with your parents? They need to kick your uncle and his family to the curb and tell them to get a hotel. If he couldn't afford it then he should have stayed home. They need to back you up and you need to keep your room. Damn this was normal in my family and I've never really been mad when they took my room, since it's only for a couple weeks but to each their own. Not the asshole, nobody sleeps in my bed except me. I don't care who it is, that's gross and weird. Imagine how your poor parents feel. Natar. In the words of Yoda, if a hotel afford you cannot, at home you stay must. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This is on the parents. It's their house, their daughter so they are the ones that need to step up, step in and advocate for their daughter. Not the asshole you're a 15 year old with sleeping issues. Them being unable to use the living room is just dumb I understand not being able to afford a hotel but the living room should be fine. Not the asshole. Your uncle's trying to pull a fast one on you, turning your room into a makeshift Marriott. Locked doors are just boundaries good on you for standing your ground. No you aren't the R. You should have the agency to say no and not feel like you are being forced to stand your ground or be ousted. Good for you. It doesn't mean you are happy to see them but you don't have to give up your room to do so. You are my hero, and definitely not the asshole. You are awesome with your healthy boundaries. Keep it up. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If the grandparents have some common decency, they should have too. If they're too cheap to book a hotel then they shouldn't be traveling specially w kids. It's common sense not to be inconvenienced for others. You're the asshole. You're being a brat. You aren't being asked to give up your room for the rest of your life. You're being asked to give up your room for a few days for family that came from overseas.